In this example, we want to um, solve the imp improper integral. So if you take a close look at the uh, bounds, okay, uh, for my function I have, okay, uh, it's 1 over 1 over uh, the cube root of x. Okay, so if you notice here that at zero, this function is not defined, and that's what you see here in this graph. Here's the graph, and blue is the graph of one over x uh, cube root of x. At x equals zero, I have a um, vertical asymptote. So this is uh, because this bound, this lower bound is not defined in our function. So this is an improper type of improper integral. So we need to rewrite this in terms of a limit. So I'm going to take, have the limit, okay, I'm going to have A approach 0, and we want to approach 0 from the right side, because A is a lower is the lower bound, so it's, so it's going to approach 0 from the right side. Okay, and then we're going to get the integral from A to 1 of dx over x to the 1 third. So now applying the power rule for integrals uh, this is the same as or this is the same as saying the integral from a to 1 of x to the negative 1 third dx so therefore by applying the power rule we're going to get 3 halves times x to the two-thirds okay. and evaluate this from a to 1 so therefore this is going to give us okay the limit as a approaches 0 from the right side of 3 halves okay plug in 1 to the two-thirds minus 3 halves a to the power 2 thirds okay, so this is going to give us the limit ah, sorry the limit as a approaches 0 from the right of 3 halves minus 3 halves times a to the oh, 2 thirds. So in that case, because a is approaching 0, this part will go to uh, 0. So we're left with a value of 3 halves. So therefore, this integral, the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over the cube root of x converges to 3 halves. And over here, that's what you see, okay? So here's the graph of, and blue is the graph of f of, of the function, 1 over x to the 1 third. So the red line that you see, the red line is the, this is the upper bound, this is at 1. And then you have the lower bound at 0. So over here, okay, I made this as a slider, so it's, okay. So let's put a over here. So as a gets closer and closer to zero, then you can see this area here, okay, the area inside this, okay, the area bounded between the curve and the x-axis between uh, this lower bound and the upper bound is, is converging to three halves, and that's what you see here. Okay, so as a, as I slide a, as a is getting closer and closer to zero, Okay, eventually it's going to get to, it's, it's converging to, it's getting closer and closer to 3 halves. Okay. And that's what you see, okay, and right here. Okay. Okay, that's the value, of, right, 3 halves. So it's getting closer and closer. As A is getting closer and closer to 0, from, from the right side, the area is converging to 3 halves.